Alright everyone, welcome back to another PC tutorial. Guys, for you today, I've got how to make any full screen game into a windowed mode without using programs, without always using all this fancy tough stuff or whatever you want to call it. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be simple stuff that's already built into the computer and it's not hard at all. It's actually two buttons. So everyone, let's do this. So it's been a while since I've done an actual PC tutorial or whatever, anything like this. And um, I really wanted to actually upload one of these for you guys because it has been a while. And I figured this out a while ago because I was um, trying to get all these games into windowed because I only have one computer screen for recording and streaming and stuff like that. But what you do guys is you open any game. If your game is in full screen, how to close that down, how to make it windowed mode. Any game. It doesn't matter what um, type of game it is. It doesn't matter if there's no options at all for the game. Any type of game. What you do guys is you hold down the alt key hold down the ALT key on your keyboard hold it down and you press enter the screen may go black or it may not boom for me the screen is in full screen full screen it's right now my game is in full screen hearthstone to make it windowed hold down alt and press enter boom the game is now in windowed mode this works on any game it doesn't matter if it's a if it's a game, I actually found this out really pretty well with um, Five Nights at Freddy's because it's a full screen game only. So I press Alt, hold Enter. That's all you do. Hold Alt in there. Boom! It's gonna be there. It's full window. It's awesome stuff. Now, another thing I want to talk about, guys, is um, if you have a resolution scale in the options menu and you set it to like let's say 800 by 600, the resolution. That when you in full screen mode, it's going to be a lot of black bars everywhere. But when you press Alt and Enter and make it windowed mode, the black bars are gone and it'll only capture the screen. And this will work for any resolution you set it at um, in the options menu if there is that option for you to do that. Set the resolution scale. But a lot of games does not have like a windowed mode in the options menu. So this is a great way to make that game um, just better for you so you can browse the internet if you want to while playing your game or do these different types of things it's just a great little um, like a little tool I guess in your arsenal of your PC stuff and it works really well um, but yep just alt guys and enter full screen windowed mode it doesn't matter any game is fine now I'm gonna show you one more thing it's not gonna be completely what do you call it um it's not going to be completely working, let's say that much at all, but um, because I don't really don't have a lot of games that does this, very few games does this. But what you do is you go into, I'm going to just go to like some, something simple, like let's just go to Counter Strike, why not? It's not going to be here, but some games do have this, and very few games. And you're going to go to Local Files, and you're going to go to Browse Local Files. And also, you can just find your game in your, um, like your library of different options and stuff like that, little pads, whatever you want to call it. Just go find the game you want. And you're going to go through the different stuff like, um, it's going to, some stuff is going to be like app data. And it's going to be like the config. It's going to be in the bin. And there's going to be a notepad. Somewhere down here, there's going to be a notepad. Like right here, like something, something like this. It's going to be a notepad like this. I ain't going to say this, but it's going to be like a notepad. When you open that up, it's going to have all the settings for that said game. And down through here, there's going to be something called full screen. And right below it, it's going to be windowed. What you do, guys, is there's going to be a number beside of it. You're going to change that number for full screen to 0 and the window number to 1. And that's going to be permanently windowed mode for that said game. But that's a very rare chance of any game actually having that. Very, very few games does. But again, that's another tip for you guys to make a game windowed and full screen, whatever you want to do. Um, but everyone, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to make any game full screen to window mode back to full screen whatever you want to do it's just such a cool little trick just hold down alt and press enter so easy such a simple little tool that you can use guys but i hopefully hopefully you enjoyed um this little quick tutorial on the pc i'm gonna try to release more of these it's just i try to make them like spread apart as i find new stuff to do i make a tutorial for you guys pretty cool stuff but um as always this has been Too Bad 2. Oh, guys, don't forget to leave a like down below. Subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. And also, don't forget to check out my Twitch streaming down below in the um, description. I've been streaming every night. It's really amazing. We just hit 200 viewers at once, 
which was incredible, guys. Thank you for that. 200 people at once. That's quite insane. Not going to lie. But um, hopefully everyone enjoys all that stuff. But as always, this has been Too Bad 2. And I'll see you next time.